Dick Albert's weather on News Center 5. After 76 years, Halley's Comet is coming back. Find out when and where. And the facts on the rise in infant mortality rates and what the Boston medical community is doing to change this dangerous situation. on New England Sunday, toys for the adults on your gift list. If you are an adult who's really just a kid at heart, then have we found a store for you. It's Sharper Image, and it's just opened its stores here in Boston, and it's stocked with some of the most expensive and most bizarre toys for the kid in you. I'd like to introduce the manager of the Boston store right now. Peter, my goodness, tell me about this. This is called the Pocket Bike. We sell it for $675 at our new store here in Boston. And it only leaves a little blue smoke in Just a little in smoke in yours. It's mostly for outdoor use. All right, and you also have down here a couple of other little mm -hmm. gizmos and gadgets that should make uh, the kid and us very happy. This is the new electronic indoor pet called the Petster. And how does he work? Okay, let's turn on the switch here. And we can get him to work by clapping. By different series of clapping commands, he will make different turns. Come here. While spacing the turn, claps a little bit more. More? All right. He can also work on his electronic leash. <laughs> oh, I don't we'll believe this. Right yeah, right let him up. just go. Okay. But make sure you don't clap anymore. He's okay. okay. But tell us what this one is now. This is our super snow, snow sled mm -hmm. with a brake and steering wheel. Oh there my goodness. There is the brake and the steering wheel. Now, how much does that go for? This is $79. Oh, that would be a lot of fun, I oh, think. A lot, a lot different than the old red flyer. Quite a bit different. All right, let's take a walk. You can just put it right okay. down there and take a walk around. Let's take a look at some others as well. Okay. Tell me about the cars. We have authentic reproductions here of 1950s Buick, Cadillac, and Thunderbird. I hate to tell you, but I remember cars that I looked do like too. that. And tell me about the lamp that you've brought along. Okay, this is also an authentic reproduction of a silhouette lamp, an Art Deco lamp. Boy, it's fabulous. It is. Now, it's this really looks very pretty. kind of like somebody's mistake. Well, <laughs> it's um, left to your imagination. It's oh, called goodness. a tangle sculpture. Go ahead so and try it. This is one of those Create. things. It's the, you used to give the executive a worry stone. Right. Now you give him a tangle I think you've sculpture. Got the idea. Okay. I could uh, use that on a few people I know. All right. You can go on forever with it, too. <laughs> Tell me about these guys. Gord. These are Gordo and Terox. Oh, and goodness. they're robots, Zoids, that you assemble yourself. That could keep somebody busy for hours. Well, I think it depends on the age. You kept my son busy for about three hours. Hopefully, I'd be a little quicker. I was going to say, on your, for your kid, it would take him five mm -hmm. minutes. For us, I, it would I take three hours. All right, right a weight talker I may not want. This is a talking this. scale. Please step on the scale. Have a nice day. Are you kidding? They want me to step on the scale? I think so. And then what happens? Well, you can step on it in two modes. One with the memory, one without the memory. With the memory, it'll make a comparison to yesterday's weight and tell you whether you've gained or lost. Well, now, how much is this little baby? This is on sale now for $99. You think if I had it, I would stay on my diet? Either that or get very embarrassed. Very embarrassed. <laughs> That's probably the truth. And now this one. This is a unique cordless phone. It's called the tub phone or shower phone. Oh, we've had can, shower radios. Now we have shower You can phone. take this into the hot tub with you out in the rain. Yeah, more like totally at my house, yeah. it would be the shower, no hot tub there. Uh -huh. All right, that's great. Now, talk to me a little bit about who buys these things. Well, we sell mostly to young professionals, young being, say, mid-20s to mid-50s. And I understand that you used to do just catalogs, but now you have a store, uh, branches of stores all over We just the opened our 12th store this week in San Francisco. Boston was the 10th store. The and retail division's about a year old. And the company's about eight years old. And how are they doing? This very, time? very well. Very well. Now, one other quick question. You had a catalog out for women for a while, and it didn't work. And I noticed that a lot of these things, with the exception of the scale, seem to be mm. more men's type toys. We are probably more of a man's store. A man's catalog is where we originated. We've experimented with the ladies' catalog, and it was marginally successful. We do have a lot of our items in the store for ladies, but the young professional male is probably our prime customer. Now, I guess the woman is at home saying, we have to watch the budget, dear, while the, while the guy is sneaking into your store to you pick bet. some of these things you up. Bet. We talked about some of the prices, $600 for the motorcycle, 99 here. What's the range? 
We probably go from about nineteen dollars to about thirteen thousand. But what do you buy for thirteen thousand dollars? Well, you could buy a three-week trek in Nepal for thirteen thousand dollars. Oh, well, I would like that, actually. I think I would, too. <laughs> I like too. that a lot. I trade my scale for that. Yeah. Well, Peter Fanning, thank you very much. A lot of fun, and I'd love to get down there and take a look. Well, do. Come down and see us. What is the location? In the Marketplace Center, adjacent to Quincy Market. All right. Well, thank you again for sharing this with us. It's a okay. lot of fun. Thank you, I'm not Jane. going to try the motorbike, however. Oh. Not today. All right. Coming up, a very important topic with Frank. <laughs> Glad he said that's a, a, a man's store, because I'm sure a lot of men will probably go in there and maybe go for that tango item. That would be good. style feel like getting in shape but you're too embarrassed to go to the gym well dorothy lucy will tell you how some new yorkers are bringing the gym home someone who goes to the gym every day or almost every day or at least i try to get there i'm very interested in your next story which has to do with the latest rage in physical fitness forgive me for this yes i hate to tell you this but yeah. going to the gym every day out. Out of style. Oh. Out of style. There's a new trend. Now, health clubs are still hot places if you want to meet people, which reaches my but the truly chic New Yorkers are sweating pounds away at the office or at home. New Yorkers, like the rest of Americans, are in a fitness craze. And despite the hundreds of health clubs in our area, lots of people are taking exercise equipment out of the club and into the home. Ray Ferrand of Paragon Sports in Manhattan says a home workout is the next fitness boom in New York. It's uh, caught on tremendously. It's uh, taken over where the running boom has pretty much left off. Outside of the health clubs, which are for the best health clubs very expensive, there is now a, uh, it is now possible to set yourself up to have a very uh, well-maintained exercise program at home. And you don't necessarily have to spend an arm and a leg getting your body back in shape. We can start at one pound dumbbells at 85 cents a piece and we can work on up to machinery that sells for uh, four or five thousand dollars. One of the most successful units being sold is the home Nautilus machine through the Sharper Image catalogs and one of the largest groups of people buying those machines are executives, many of whom use them right in the office. This one works the lower back muscles. It's that uh, like it's a six or eight inch band right around your waist and I think it's the best piece of equipment in the gym. Yeah. Strengthening the lower back without, I don't think there's any risk of my hurting myself on this machine at all. Neil Hockman, chairman of the board of Christian Dior Apparel, is an avid user of the equipment and says it's perfect for an on-the-move New Yorker. I belong to a half dozen health clubs. It just became more trouble than it's worth to get there. Uh, it's 20 minutes to any location. Then you have to change, do your exercise, shower, change, come back in a cab. This way, at my convenience, I'm here. Uh, it's a, the, the discipline is easy. And the telephone is right there if there's an emergency. While working out is better than just putting on pounds, there can be problems. Dr. Russell Warren, team orthopedist for the New York Giants, says you should exercise caution as well. Each different type of equipment exercises a different set of muscles, and you can result in problems if you overdo it while you're using these, this equipment. For someone to get into a, a program that would involve Nautilus or other equipment, They'd be a lot better off going, say, to a place that has someone skilled in the equipment to learn about the use of it and to find out which exercises would be best for them and how to avoid injury with the equipment. Uh, the YMCA would be a good place to do that. Or, but to buy the equipment first before having used it would probably be a mistake, I would think. So if you don't want to fight flab and crowds at the health clubs, you can go it alone. Just remember... Take it easy. Take it easy. 
couldn't imagine having that stuff in your house. Staring you in the face saying, use me, use me. How about in your office? No, but you get something, I'll come down to your okay. office and use it. Well, I think it's a good idea. It's going to save people a lot of time, though, mm -hmm. and probably the, the, next, the next big thing in the physical fitness field. Sports and Christopher Nance with weather. This is Channel 5 Eyewitness News. And the people who are making a big profit from a wise but very small investment. That's in our Eyewitness News Extra, the dollars and cents of small business. Next. People may not realize it, but small businesses are really the backbone of the American economy. They provide the jobs and often come up with some of the most useful innovations. But it's an unfortunate fact of life that two out of three small businesses fail. Is that necessary? Well, no. And coming up this week, a special Eyewitness News Extra on small business and what makes it tick. Rolando Santos has a preview. You'd be surprised at what can make it as a small business. Basically, if you have an idea, a little drive, and a gambling streak, you've got the tools. Loretta Huff, for example, started with a $300 art show booth. Now she and a friend own Elegant Clutter, a $350,000 a year business. We're scared to death. No. And then we just grew, took off. Intuition is important, but not the only key. And there are some myths that need to be broken up as well. For example, you can forget those notions of having lots of leisure time as your own boss while you're making a bundle. I'm here between 7 and 8, depending on the day. Some days I have payroll to do and other, you know, demands. And 8 o'clock we start, 11 o'clock we open up the doors, and then we serve continuously from 11 till 9, and we reset. And that requires about two hours worth of work. You'll see how to give business the best shot at success, how to prepare yourself, and you'll get tips from success stories like Richard Tallheimer. I have a motto, uh, start small, show a profit, and then do it very big. It must work because he took $200 and built a multi-million dollar mail order business from that. Intrigued? Believe me, it can be just a matter of dollars and common sense. In San Francisco, Rolando Santos, Channel 5, Eyewitness News. The Eyewitness News Extra Dollars and Cents of Small Business begins tomorrow night at 11 o'clock on Nightcast. Well, today... they say about the difference between men and boys. We've picked certain trends out of the marketplace, and we've made sure that we market uh, the trendy, the new, the unusual. And when you start finding it in common distribution points, out in mass distribution, it's no longer in our catalog. A man named Richard Tallheimer has turned America's growing love of high-tech, high-priced toys into a multi-million dollar business, all done with a flashy catalog that's printed in Atlanta at Foot and Davies, and is able to do what great salespeople always do, make you feel like you can't live without things you never heard of before in your life, for instance. This particular fatometer, which looks like a little small handheld uh, pistol, if you will, about that size, with the calipers, will tell you the percentage of body fat in your system. If you're on a very strict diet and you're very serious about losing weight, you could drop from 210 to 190, but if your percentage of body fat remained the same, you've lost weight, but you haven't lost it in fat. There is a specific market out there, and a growing one, for robotics. And I brought to Atlanta one called Omnibot, made by Tony. What you can do is make it move from point A to point B to point C throughout the house. It has a tray on its arms, if you wish, and it could bring a drink to the front door for your guests as they come. There are people for whom this stuff is worse than Godiva to a chocoholic. I cannot wait to try this doohickey, which just came, for example, called a video caster. It's supposed to take the signal from your video cassette recorder and transmit it to all the TVs in your house. And this little thing of me will store 85 names and telephone numbers and dial them for you. And just whom, you may ask, buys this stuff? 
we find out that 75% of our business is done with that male executive. He's usually between 25 to, to 55, and his income is usually in the gross neighborhood of 38 to $40,000. And even a toy can have real utility. Friday on Live at 4, we take you to the computer fair where the latest electronic marvels await you. And we welcome former congresswoman and one-time presidential candidate, Shirley Chisholm. And we conclude our series on modern relationships with a look at the two-income family. Now, live from the Pacific Northwest, Carrie Brock and Dick Foley, Live at 4. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Friday Ooh. afternoon, 8th day of June. Father's Day is just, what, less than a week away, and if you're faced with that dilemma now, what am I going to buy for Dad? The guy's got everything. We may solve, or at least offer several possible solutions to that dilemma for you in the next few minutes. We're going to meet Lou Susie, who represents one of the world's greatest catalogs of unusual products, products uh, for the guy who has everything. That's and a wonderful introduction. Thank you. Well, all right. Nice to have you here, Lou. Lou is, is from a company called The Sharper Image, and you have probably seen their catalog. Now we're going to see close up and in person some of the items. How many catalogs in, or how many items in the catalog? Well over 200, over and that's 200 just in our main book. We put out specialty catalogs for telephones, health and fitness equipment, and gemstones as well. I began reading the catalog on airplanes, and I found that I would go to the catalog before I'd read a magazine or a <laughs> okay, book. Okay. It's the most fascinating thing to read on the airplane. Let's begin, Lou, and just look at some of the things you brought with you, because right. they truly are fascinating. I I'm going to leave you, it on your lap, if you don't I mind. I asked you if you would bring this, because I'm a musician, okay. and I would get a big kick out of this. You want that on? That's power. Okay. All right. You want a rhythm? Let's go for Latin. All right. And let's get the volume up. Now, Suzuki makes this. And we this. added a, uh, a C major chord. There's the rhythm. You hold my mic, if you will, Lou, and I'll, okay. All right. and I'll play this thing. Isn't live television funding? Isn't this great? <laughs> now, you can hold a chord here and then yes. strum it. Good. Give you a little more volume. You can change the rhythm. There's six different rhythms, 27 chords. You can play it like a piano, play it like an organ. And, and have a great in, a, in about, what, 10 minutes, become an accomplished uh, <laughs> concert musician. <laughs> well, I, we need a little more work on that. Oh, I love it. May That's I great. grab this one off the table, if you yes, mind? Yes, sir. This is a rather interesting device called the Rainmatic. Oh, yes. And this costs $59. Consider this being hooked up to the faucet outside in the garden and a hose coming out this side. Mm -hmm. We'll go out on vacations or on the weekends or while you're at work. This will be programmed to water the plum tree, uh, all of the bushes, your lawn, if you'd like that. All right. $59. Now, again, for a sprinkler system, you might pay several thousand. Oh, yes, indeed. But, and for these, you could buy one for each hose and mm -hmm. then have a sprinkler program That's to water right. when and how you want it while you're on vacation. That's it. Heck of an idea. Two different schedules, and within each schedule, four different programming times. So you could water up to eight times a day, if you like. This is the one we talked about, and ah. I think this is a neat idea. This is Jim Dandy. It's called the Charge It. It's $149. This is kept in the glove compartment. Okay. You go outside the house, and you find out that you've left your lights on during a foggy day, take this out of the glove compartment, put that in, Dick, that you see dangling there, put that in Into the, the cigar, cigarette lighter. put that in, wait about 10, 15 minutes, let it charge the battery, and you're on your way. Now, how many of us haven't done that, walked out and found a dead battery? 150 bucks seems like a lot of money, but boy, if it bailed you out of a dilemma, it'd be worth twice the price. Hundreds of starts inside that small compact All package. right, and this, this is rechargeable? Oh, absolutely, yes. Okay. By now your car I, on the way home. Okay, <laughs> I think we have this one plugged in, Lou. Okay. But while, while the uh, camera looks at it, maybe you can make it do what it does, and we really have to listen to it, because you tell me, tell me what it is. It recreates, uh, in a synthesized fashion, the primal sounds of nature, a surf coming in. The surf fades. Someone has turned the control a little bit. There's the surf. Surf comes back in. Now there are several controls, Dick. Listen to the surf come in and out, come into rainfall. And the idea of what is restful sleep, Luke? Yes. Yeah, the scientists call it, Dick, uh, white noise. Establishes another base of noise inside the living arrangement uh, where you sleep and the intruding noises from outside, like uh, children's crying, uh, automobile noises. Yeah, it beats the heck right. out of a freeway yeah. sound, yeah. I'll say that But it him. helps to mask that noise, give you more restful sleep. Sleep yeah. longer and which, a deeper sleep. Which one is volume? And I'll, and I'll right, turn it there's down. There's volume. All right. So it has two surf ranges, a waterfall, and a rainfall. This may sound like a strange thing to ask you, Mr. Susie, but I'm going to ask mm -hmm. if you'll stand up, sir. I'd be happy to. And our viewers at home will notice as Lou stands up that he's considerably taller than I. Mm -hmm. The reason for that is the unusual 
footwear that Mr. Susie has brought along. The latest in jogging shoes. Well, What's the deal here? Shall I do this? I'm going to move this so that okay. so the camera can get, get a look the at it. The uh, original out of there. You these bet. are called the Exolopers. These come to us out of Canada, and these are $160. And for the same type of a workout you'd get as a jogger out pounding on the concrete and on the asphalt, this saves, uh, saves a lot of the stress on the knee and on the ankle. Okay. And for the same length of workout, you get four times, four times the value. Is that right? Because of the added resistance that you get out of the leaf spring and now the you, coil. You'd probably have to develop a technique of running oh, sure. on those. Well, you, wouldn't want, you wouldn't want to flip the ankle over to the side. So. Oh, wouldn't want to, but you'll notice it's very strong. Isn't that so? And I'm not necessarily strong ankled as far as that goes. Whenever I go ice skating, that presents a problem, but uh, I don't have any problems here. We are talking for the guy who has everything here. Look at that. <laughs> now, like the, that chair, the chair that I so cavalierly uh -huh. moved out of the way. The now, Milan's original. While you're, standing, while you're standing, Lou, I'll just sit down oh, here. Good. And uh, why is this better? Why, why should this... Uh... Changes the structure of the back here. Changes the center of gravity. Mm -hmm. You've got all your body weight now in a restful position instead of being crouched over the chair when you're working on your computer. More relaxation, better breathing. It's just okay. far more comfortable and better for your body to be seated in that attitude it's as it is to be all hunched over. Mm -hmm. I like. What's the chair worth? That is uh, $185. $185. Mm -hmm. That's very the nice. Original. Now, we have three different versions of that, a more expensive and something less expensive for a different price range. I'm not a golfer, but I'm going to go hit a golf ball. Do it. And you tell the viewers why I'm doing that. Well, the golf trainer is made by Michibichi. This is $399, and this will analyze Dick's swing how fast the club head speed is coming through, Probably tell me to find a new sport. whether the club head is open or closed. We believe we have the machine on and the camera trained on that. Yeah, All right. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, you always get a practice swing. Thank you. Well, yes. Practice swing. It's not... Ah, beautiful. Not bad. Now, the camera goes in. That indicates, Dick, to us that 54.8 miles per hour was the club head speed. You sit it straight down the fairway. You were not off at all. You'll notice the zero on the far left of your screen indicates that you were straight down the fairway. If you Beautiful saw shot. anything here you liked, the Sharper Image Catalog is available for free, I understand. Uh, and you can simply call an 800 number or write to the address that is there. I'd prefer the 800 number. All right. 800-344-4444. Right. Thank, thank you, Lou Susie. We'll be right back. Enjoy it. Time Television. This is Live at Noon with Craig Prosser, Brand Fawcett, Dan Wood, and Tara O'Leary. Well, we all remember how last year Craig's wife, Fern, sent the Father's Day card to you, what, a week early? We want a reminder that Father's Day is coming up, but it's the 17th this year. Oh, by that token, this Sunday I ought to get my gift. <laughs> Actually, a house may be out of your budget if you're planning a gift for Dad, but we're going to show you some gift ideas when Live at Noon continues in just a moment. Welcome back to Live at Noon. Yes, Father's Day is just around the corner, uh, June 17th. And if you haven't bought Dad's president, president, <laughs> elect him, right? <laughs> Such a day. If you haven't bought his present yet, we have invited Lou Susie from the Sharper Image to show us a few of the items that he has in the catalog. Hello, just, is Hello there. Is this just a catalog uh, organization? We're opening now some retail stores across the country in Houston and Chicago and L.A., but primarily we send out about 15 million of these catalogs across the country each year. And we have other specialty books for telephones and health and fitness equipment and gemstones. Right. Yes. Such exciting gifts. We've asked him to bring some, and we're going to demonstrate them. And we're going to start with the old idea, but you've done something new with yes. it. Yes. This is from, uh, from Europe. Over 25,000 of these have been sold in Europe. It's called the Jetstar. No, no, the Pogo stick. Well, that was another <laughs> manufacturer. This one's called the Jetstar. You can see the motorcycle handles that you have there. Very good, though, for working on the legs and the arms and uh, coordination as far as that right, goes. Right, off hours. I, I don't know if we can demonstrate it, but obviously oh. we, just, we just jump on board. And that's the way we go. And get lots good of time. exercise and, and uh, yeah, $119, right. right? We know that we're 119 Okay. We know that we're a little pressed for time, so let's add a little power to something called the Omnicord by Suzuki. We have power. Let's add a little rhythm. And let's make the rhythm Latin. I like that. Add a little volume. Okay, let's pick that up. Let's get a chord in now. Now, if you will, go ahead and strum this guitar, just like I taught you. Ah. Oh. Now, give it a little whoo. Isn't that marvelous? Now, we'll get a little bit more volume. You change the chords. Oh, I can't. Now, obviously, this is not very musical. 
And if we want to hold that particular beat, we can treat it like an organ. One hundred and ninety-nine dollars. The Omnicord. Something you'd be the rain matic. All your friends. The you go rain out of town. Matic? Okay. Now we worry about feeding the, the kids first and the cats and dogs we've left home. But the rain matic for fifty-nine dollars will program the water. This is a faucet outside, a hose that comes down, and then when it's programmed to go off in your absence, it'll open up, water the uh, plum tree, water the lawn for you and it'll close off as it's been pre-programmed. I love it. All right, no excuses matic. for having a, uh, a brown grass, all right? Now, I'm going to borrow your left ear. May I do that? Okay, you all sure right. can. Let me borrow your left ear. All right. It's hooked. Now, you're driving down Interstate 5, and you're a little sleepy, and you start to nod off. Okay, I'm driving down, and I... Nod, nod off. off. Oh, my goodness, you're awake. It's called white line fever. That's what the truck drivers call that hypnotic effect when you're driving down the road. I need one of these. Maybe, I'm always on the road. Maybe you want to be awake for your favorite TV show. You can sit in your, in your easy chair and do that. All right. Oh, this is intriguing. What Isn't that is nice? This? All right. I these are called the extralopers. Oh, the Canadians have sent this to us. Uh -huh. And you can see by the leaf spring and by the coil, you can work out the same length of time as normal jogging, get four times the effect. And you walk around in these things? Well, you, you put them on, just in? like a boot. Yeah. And you'll find your, your running gait in time. You'll have your same stride, but because of this combination, you'll get a heck of a workout. So you could really work out a fourth of the length of time and get the same amount of energy and effort out of it. Indoors or outdoors? Oh, outdoors, definitely. Yeah. On any, any surface. I love Excellent it. Excellent surface. That, what is this called again? Exerlopers from Canada. Exerlopers. <laughs> I'm going to scoot around go. over here oh, near you. Right. Let's, move, let's move this one out for All a right. second. This unit is called the Marsona 1200 Sound Conditioner. Mm -hmm. In hospitals, where some of the patients in the cardiac department needed a little extra care, they put in something that masks out those external noises. Mm -hmm. so let's use this in the children's room. Let's use it in your office. Right. First of all, it's turned on. I've set it to the surf. You mean I don't have to go to the ocean anymore? And it comes back in back in. Now, you can adjust whether you want the surf to hit nine times a minute or three times a minute. Let's go now, if we will, for a little rainfall. A little rain. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. This is soft underneath, and then the waterfall. For our viewers who are from Washington, the state of Washington, mm -hmm. get your own rainfall right here, <laughs> right? The waterfall, you're going to need to be close to the base of the waterfall. Oh, I love it. Or rather far away. All right, so, now. There you go. Dad's play golf. Marsona. One hundred and twenty-nine dollars right. for the Marsona. All right. Home. All right. We've got the golf trainer. And it's an analyzer. <laughs> it's an analyzer. Computer-based means... analyzer will tell you how fast that you swing the, uh, right. the club so through. All right. So I'm How many degrees of All open right. or close? All right. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Four. <laughs> Sarah, if you'll notice, you hit it straight down the fairway. You hit it a little bit on the toe of the club. Let's see, what's that read, Tara? 97.6 miles per hour was the head speed as you swung Whoa. it. And if we check here, it carried just about 129 yards. <gasps> Isn't, Isn't that nice? Now, of course, you were taking a very close uh, close look here in the studio. Yeah. But that's, why don't you do I'm one more? Heck of do a... one more. All right, I'll do one We've more. We've got time. Do and one more. if people want, oh, whoa, oh. <laughs> if people want uh, to get a free brochure for the uh, Sharper Image, all they have to do is write for that free brochure or call 800-344-4444. Lou Susie, Susie, thank you so much <laughs> for you, being Sarah. with us. Great to be here. And have a happy Father's Day. And in a moment, when we return with Live at Noon, we'll have part three in our series on... It's 4 o'clock, and today on TGI4, meet Princess Diana the Tooth Fairy. She keeps kids smiling. Discover some kids who dance their way through the new movie Beat Street. And find out how to choose which over-the-counter pill to pop when you're in pain. TGI4. Forget the ties, forget the wallets, forget the scotch, forget the cuvassier. If you want to get your dad something really nifty this Father's Day, Lou Susie from Sharper Images here with some suggestions. Now, these are items which you have available in your catalog, Sharper That's Image catalog. And they're all available by a mail order, and they range in uh, some interesting prices here. They just dial the 800 number. Okay. 800-344-4444. Okay. And now, they can order a catalog. All right. Now, let's sneak that, that in. Okay, good uh, enough. The plug is, is worth uh, all oh, yeah. the things you brought in. Omnicord. Now, this yes. is the first thing. Play it like an organ. Sure. We'll get rid of that. Let's add a little Latin beat. Well, that's nice. Put a chord in. Pick a chord. Any chord? Any chord. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I want you to strum it. Oh, that's nice. That's really something. This 
Omnicorn. Now that's by Suzuki, yes. right? Yes, $199. Okay, all right. Let's well, put the that man away. Who, uh, is not musically inclined, but would like to be. What do we have next? Here's the next one called a minivac. <laughs> Can you hear that wind up? Sure. Now, there are a lot of uh, fancy items that people have these days, stereos, for example, a lot of records or what have you, that they need to keep clean. Mm -hmm. This doesn't blow the dust away. It actually vacuums the dust away. Oh, so you can do that on just about yes. anything that's... Uh, I see. Absolutely. $29. A little Velcro. We'll open that up. And you clean it dust right Dust out in. the garbage. Okay. Send it on its way. $29. All right. Wet tunes. Wet tunes. Put that in the shower. Okay. AM, FM. <laughs> Sing along with your favorite radio station in the morning before you now go that's, to work. That's a real good idea. Uh, of course, it's plastic, so nothing gets in there and, and ruins the batteries right. or anything. How much for that? $39. That's a, that's, that's a real good nice. idea. I like that. Team works. I put batteries in it before the show starts. Okay. <laughs> now, here is a very, very sophisticated piece of equipment for $129. Mm -hmm. This is called a sound conditioner. It sets up another level of, uh, of noise, if you will, to wipe out the noises that infiltrate into our society. The outside noises, the Nario's uh, staber that neighbors might have. Okay. Let's pick out the surf. You're at the ocean. Right. How much is that? One twenty-nine. A lot cheaper than a condo in Monterey. <laughs> surf, <laughs> rainfall, waterfall. Okay. All what right. else now would this, you like? This next thing, this uh -huh. is really something else. This is great. This is called a star sculpture. Okay, project. now we need to bring down the lights yeah, just a little bit to. in the studio. This is actually a work of art. Look that is something. That's really value. something. You'll notice then the moisture on my hand. It looks like something out of a science fiction movie. Attracts those ionized gases. And that is called a star sculpture. Star sculpture. And really think of it as a work of art for $1,200 as opposed <laughs> to some electronic uh, gadget to sit in your home. And, and some... Of course, uh, we can change the design. It has hundreds of thousands of different designs. Some executive who, uh, I guess, just wants to sit and play for a little while and maybe uh, get an idea of, uh, uh, or just try to get an idea, could sit and look into this little crystal ball there for a little while. Patrick, it's very beautiful, as you can see. That is, that is quite nice. And you can change designs on it oh, by yes. changing some of the... And it has its own micro uh, processor uh, based in there, so even if you don't touch it, it'll go through various cycles. Now, these are not... Uh, we're going to take a look at one more here in just mm -hmm. a minute. Oh, oh, this is one that is real good, what I you think. See this here. is just ah. sensational. This is... Leave this in the glove compartment. You step outside, you've left your lights on in the car. You notice your battery has gone dead. Take this out of the glove compartment, stick this in the cigarette lighter, go ahead and crank it up. And the first thing you know, about 10 or 15 minutes later, you'll have recharged your battery sufficiently enough to start the car and go home. Don't need the jumper cables. That reverses it through the lighter in your car. There you go. Now, that's really a practical item. How much for that? $149. But that's worth every And it's training. rechargeable, of yeah. course. Hundreds of starts inside this. Called to charge it. Uh, now, these are not items for every father, and they're not in every price range, but you have shown us some, uh, some very good ideas here. Primarily, who are your, uh, who are your clients? If you will, the executives in this country. All right. Uh, our mail order catalog is sent out to about 35 million homes throughout the United States, and we publish a new book every three months. And some 40% of our catalog items are changed then every quarter. And so we send it out to executives of both male and female that they're looking for something different, unusual, and quality items. Well, I'm not a father. I'm not a golfer either, but a lot of fathers are golfers. And uh, so we've asked Jan to help demonstrate this Jan one item. And while she does this backswing, away. I'm getting out of here. Okay, hang well, on. Well, gee, Patter, don't you have any more confidence? Oh, I've got lots of that? confidence, but I just uh, I okay. knew a guy who lost an eye this Why am I so time. nervous? Jan, this is our golf trainer by Mitsubishi for $399. It analyzes the club head speed, okay. whether the club head is open or closed how far the imaginary golf ball traveled down the course. So you want me just to hit it, right? Whether the swing is inside out, outside in. Here I go. On the sweet part Shh, quiet. of the club head. <laughs> quiet, quiet on the set. Holy Toledo. Okay. The Let's camera picked up the club head speed at 62.4 <laughs> miles per hour. And look at that. We hit it slightly on the toe of the club head. The camera will scan to the left a little bit, straight down the fairway. Hey. And when that ball got to the end of the fairway, we were zero degrees off yard. You hit that as true as anyone could. It oh, went a hundred and twelve yards. Thank you, Jan. Good demonstration. Yards. Yes. And that's called the what? Golf trainer by Mitsubishi. And uh, that that would retail for about three hundred and ninety-nine. All right. Yes. Well, that's that's definitely interesting. Yes. There's no question about yes. that. Uh, thank you for joining You're us, welcome, Lou, Patrick. from a sharper image. Let's go to, we have a six foot, no, wait a minute, that's not six feet. Eric, what are we looking at here? Beanie, meeny, jelly beanie. <laughs> Steve, this is a hunk detector, and it is working. This device, watch, can you get close, can you see how the beams follow my hands? 
Ooh, kind of spooky, huh? It's just one of the gadgets available at a brand new store downtown. Holiday season's coming. Some of the great gifts for the holiday season. Eric, are you or are you not a hunk? Watch. There's a hunk position for you, right? I guess you're not. Hey, come on. Okay. You're the tallest hunk in town. Yeah, I'll you're take You're taller that. than Salak. You're taller than Hassel Hopper. Yes, I am. And that's about it. All right. Now, Eric, we'll be getting back to you a little bit later on in the program. Now Welcome back. In case you've just joined us, Sherilyn Walter is here, my co-host today from General Hospital. And right now, because this is Hunk Week, we thought we'd go to Eric Boardman. <laughs> Let's That's go to right. Eric, who is live. Where That's are you? right. You heard me, Mr. Van Amberg. I want top billing. Uh-huh. My own dress. Oh, Steve. Yes, hi, Eric. Uh, we put the portable phone away. <laughs> you may have seen this catalog in the mail, the Sharper Image catalog. We're down at the grand opening of their store. The catalog is now becoming a store, so you can touch all the items. Let's meet the owner and founder, Richard Tallheimer. Thank you for inviting us down here. Richard, tell me about Sharper Image. What is it? Well, the Sharper Image is an eclectic mix of products that reflects a yuppie lifestyle. A yuppie lifestyle. Did you say yucky yeah. or yuppie? <laughs> Either one. Take your pick. Uh, so we're talking about electronic items. We're talking about exercise items, all things for the yuppie lifestyle. Things that are new, things that you've never seen before. OK, example. What are you holding yeah. your hand? This is the Insta Dialer, for example. Let you dial uh, anybody. It says name. Suppose I put an S. This is for dialing phone numbers. Dialing phone numbers. Put an SI for sharper image. Hit the dial button. Now, can you hear that? That what you use to hold that up to the phone, and then that tone actually dials the signal. So it's not connected to the phone itself. No, no. no you just that holds 85 phone numbers. Holds 85 different names and phone numbers. And the genius of this product is it does it all with alpha codes. So you don't have to remember that somebody's number one or number What's two. What's that, Eric? Look at this. The world's smallest radio. This is the radio. Here are the earphones. Amazing, huh? Incredible. Okay, an electric razor for the shower, right? right. The world's only shaver that lets you shave while the water is just cascading down your face. Ah, cascade, yes, okay. Gives you a much better shave, though. We have a device for taking your blood pressure. We have a device for taking your temperature. Let's see if I'm normal here. What does that say? I don't think that can tell you if you're normal or not. Yeah, Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you. Yeah, you come down here and try and do one of these ones. <laughs> um, <laughs> the world's smallest vacuum cleaner. Picks How does up that work? Picks up little cookie crumbs. Let's see. <laughs> Gets a lint right off of Richard's uh -huh. thing. That's very nice. Look at the secret. World's smallest pressure. vacuum bag, too. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, look at this pulse. How's your blood pressure? Well, right now, let's we'll see. We just hold this up. Touch 294 it. over 186. You got it. You got it. Oh, let's, oh, how about this? Yuppies, you don't want to be concerned with image. So you have a whole bunch of these on the shelf. Everyone thinks you're very literate. They see books. It's for holding videotape cassettes. Debbie uh, does something. No. Um, how about... This device. What is this, Richard? Max and Easy Talkers, communicators that let you talk just like SWAT teams talk to one another by putting this in your pocket and wearing the headset. Who are you talking to, Richard? Well, you could talk to another person wearing a Max and Easy Talker. My impression of Ray Milan and Rosie Greer, the thing <laughs> with two heads. The two headed man. You got it. Oh, oh. Okay. How about this device? What's this? Last one, Eric. Go ahead. What's this, Richard? This is the beeper for the remote. Oh, this is a beeper for my phone. I'm sorry. <laughs> My mistake. I shouldn't have it. Very funny. How about the light sculpture? You shouldn't anyway, we're, this is at Grand in Wilshire, a brand new store, lots of items. Thank you, Richard. Thank Eric, you, Eric. Say hello to Sherilyn, will you? Hi, Sherilyn. I <laughs> forgive you for the cheap remark. <laughs> Hi, Eric. I think you're normal. Thank you. You don't know him. <laughs> I'm blushing. Well, we'll be back in just a moment. Stay with us. Number one in Texas, Eyewitness News with Dave Ward, Bob Allen has sports, Ed Brandon with the weather, and Action 13's Marvin Zindler. Now, Eyewitness News.
May be some vacant high-rises downtown, but many people still believe in the economic good health of the inner city. As Sheriff Fryer reports, one company sees Houston's downtown as a specialty crowd. The Sharper Image has a seven-year reputation as a glitzy mail-order catalog, offering items like this massage chair. But as you may have guessed, the store has decided to take to the aisles, opening its second only retail outlet right here in downtown Houston. Downtown? It may seem like retail suicide, but not so, says the company, for it's geared to the businessman, the upscale professional who has everything but wouldn't mind something more. Here they get a chance to be kids again and enjoy the things that uh, typically they enjoy and that they can't find just normally by going to a department store or most other specialty stores. You know, this is an adult toy store. It's as simple as that. Lots of kids in pinstripe suits. If the lunchtime browsing crowd is any indication, Houston has been one of the company's largest mail-order markets. But they're gambling the chance to see all these gadgets will lead to even brisker sales. Gadgets practical, like a plug-in rechargeable flashlight, an electric towel warming rack, a microchip to water your lawn on cue, gadgets impractical, a lightning-fast sled in case of snow, a room humidifier in case our climate fails, Gadgets that are just plain fun. If you could have anything in the store for Christmas, which, what would you take? Probably the chair. I think I need a robot, so what I want. <laughs> oh, I think I'll take one of everything. There's too much to choose from. There's no way I can make up my mind. The average customer will spend $180 a visit, according to the company's projections. Reason enough for mail order to go retail, even downtown. And proving again the time-worn phrase, the only difference between the men and the boys is the price of their toys. No offense, guys. Cheryl Fryer, Eyewitness News.